All right, I've been making the same exact keto coffee recipe for over five years, and I honestly haven't really gotten tired of it but it's good to have some variety as well. And a few weeks ago, I actually created this brand new keto coffee recipe that I am obsessed with and you need to know about. And it's something that can still fit in with your weight loss or wellness goals. Let's dive into the recipe. But if you are new here, my name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. On my channel, I teach you the science fact and delicious tips to achieve your weight loss and wellness goals. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so this recipe uses heavy cream, coffee and vanilla extract. Now the first thing that we need to do is obviously get the coffee brewing. I use Purity Coffee, I've been using it for literally like over five years because they are organic, they're mold free, which is important for me because I do have a history of anxiety and I found that moldy coffee can really spike it. If you guys wanna check them out, I do have a 20% discount code with them. It tastes amazing, super high quality. I'll have those details linked down description below. So first things first, gotta grind the coffee. And you don't have to do freshly ground coffee. I do, helps to preserve the oils and prevent it from going rancid. LOL, totally forgot to start getting the water brewing. Let's get that, shall we? Okay, I'm using a French press. Ignore the loud boiling water. <laughs> you can use your preferred method. This is just what I like to do. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> And just set the timer. All right. So for the next step, we have to make the whipped cream portion, which it's super easy to make. Usually when we do this, we just have leftover whipped cream from the night before that we had as a dessert to go along with strawberries. So typically I wouldn't be making this in the morning. Instead, I would just be using leftovers. So you can keep this whipped cream in the fridge and just store it for a couple days so that you don't have to make it up each morning. Okay, so we need the cream, we need vanilla extract, we need a bowl, and we need a hand mixer. So this might seem a lot for a morning coffee, but like I mentioned, make this night before, have it for a few days, super worth it. We have this little technique where we use these two different paddles. We found it makes the best froth. We could be totally doing it wrong, but this is just from our own experience. Now you don't need to actually measure this portion because you could just make a bigger batch and not worry about measuring it. The end result product you will want to stick to around two and a half tablespoons to make sure that you are going to be under one gram of carbohydrate. But right now you don't have to measure because you're just gonna be pulling out the amount you need when it's done. I would recommend making like a pint's worth or maybe like a half of this yeah, this is like halfway full, so about half of a pint. Otherwise, when you go to blend it, it will just not really blend very well and kind of explode everywhere. So I'm just using one of the regular organic pasture-raised heavy creams. You could go really fancy, go for like the raw cream if you can get your hands on it. It's like $12 for one of those little bottles. So I usually just stick with the organic pasture-raised. Okay, so for the vanilla, you only need a splash. Make sure you're not going too heavy-handed. I don't usually measure it, but for you guys, I will. So probably no more than a teaspoon. It is an extract, so you don't need too much of it. Yeah. Teaspoon will be perfect. This is so important for making it taste like you're adding ice cream into your coffee. Almost like an avocado. This is kind of like an avocado actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, now for the loud part, so I'm going to fast forward through this, but we are going to whip this. Just gotta plug it in. We're going to whip this until you see what's called stiff peaks. So I'll show you what that looks like. And you'll probably wanna start off low and slowly increase to like medium or high. Okay, so you can see that this looks just like regular whipped cream and it's forming these peaks that don't, that take a while to fall down. That's when you know it's done. You don't wanna go beyond this point because then you're just making butter. Okay, coffee timer just went off. I'm just going to press this down. Beautiful, is there a better sight? <laughs> All right, now for the really cool part. So we have our coffee, we have our whipped cream, zero sugar, now, for making your coffee. So if you had already pre-made this the night before, like if you had some leftover from dessert, all you'd have to do is pull this out of the fridge and it's ready to go. Now you can use a measuring spoon if you want. Remember you want about no more than two and a half tablespoons if you're using this during your fast. And then you don't even have to stir this. You just pour this over the coffee. Over the cream. Oh my gosh, look. It literally makes its own froth. I'm whispering as if it's like a holy time. <laughs> but look at that. And you guys saw that happen. It literally makes its own froth. It's so cool. Oh, Trev, it's like you came out and knew it was coffee time. <laughs> That's it. 
Yes. Oh, so mm. good. All right, now I get the official taste test. Cheers. Mm. So it obviously gets its rich creaminess from the heavy cream, but it makes such a nice froth at the top. It feels like you're having a vanilla latte and the vanilla extract makes it feel like you're also having a vanilla latte without the sugar. It's amazing, you need to try it. I've been obsessed. <laughs> mm. So good. I love coffee. So if you wanna check out what I eat in a day, including when I have my keto coffee, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.